I want to show you, Mr. President, if I may, and have the American people see an example of an offer of assistance that was made to the United States. The, the ship here that we're looking at is from a company, uh, a Dutch company, called Dockwise. And the name of this vessel is the Swan. Now, unlike some of the skimmers that are being used and some of the ones being deployed by the Navy, which are, can be put on a train car or flown in an airplane to the location and are, although very welcomed, relatively small, this is a massive ship, a massive ship that could take in 20,000 tons of oil or oil water mixture off of the water in the Gulf of Mexico, 20,000 tons. What happens is they rig this boat, with, it's really a ship, with the skimming equipment that hangs off the sides. So on May 7th, Dockwise, this Dutch company, offered the Swan to the United States of America. And the offer went under consideration. After 48 days, the offer for this massive ship with 20,000 tons of skimming capacity is still under consideration. But the ship's not available anymore because Dockwise now has employed the ship for other purposes because the United States government, from all the information that we have, never got back to them. Here's a Dutch company offering us a massive ship to do skimming to take 20,000 tons of oil and water off of the top of the Gulf of Mexico, and the United States government doesn't return the phone call. They never hear whether or not we want the ship. People involved with the situation believe that the Swan was rejected due to Jones Act's considerations, and that a similar vessel, the Seacorps vessel uh, named the Washington, was chosen instead. The Washington is an American flagged vessel. Its capacity is 1,000 tons, 1 20th of the capacity of the Swan. Now look, I'm for America first. Why aren't we using both of them? There's plenty of oil to skim up. Use the American vessel, but don't fail to respond to the Dutch company that has this massive ship that could be skimming 20,000 uh, as a 20,000 ton capacity. Why in the world would we not employ both? Mr. President, I could not be more frustrated with the lack of response.